behind me, though. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. Today I'm going to give you 5 tips on how to hit more shots and drop other players within a single clip. People are always saying my shot is pretty damn good and that I should make a video on how to land more shots. So that's why I'm putting these 5 tips and tricks together to hopefully help you guys out. But if I'm being completely honest, it's really not that hard. Anyone and everyone can have an amazing shot. All it really is is just taking it serious and putting in the time to actually practice. And I promise you, once you get it down, it's going to feel super satisfying. So if you guys do enjoy the video, please don't forget to drop a like because it does help me out so much. Or if you're just new here on my channel, consider subscribing if you do want to see some more Apex Legends content. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the first tip I got for you guys is to allow your crosshair to guide you through everything. And for those of you that didn't know already, your crosshair is just basically in the middle of your screen that's supposed to help with hipfire. And what I mean by allowing your crosshair to guide you is just simply setting up your shot before you actually aim down sight and start shooting. And you'll see in this clip here, I'm letting my crosshair lead the way so that it can actually set up my shot as soon as I turn the corner, which then obviously allows me to melt that octane. And I think this is a super underrated tip and it's something people don't take advantage of. And that's why I think it's super important to start practicing this because your movement overall is going to get so much better and your shot is going to be 10 times cleaner than it was before. And I promise once you start to get this down and just implement it into your gameplay, you're going to be able to track other players smoother and faster. That way it just makes it easier on you when you begin to aim down sight. The second tip I came up with is to jump in the firing range so that you can practice sliding and shooting. And you'll see this clip right here. This is a perfect example of me in the middle of a gunfight with a lifeline. I avoid bullets by sliding, get to where I want to go, and I just completely throw her off, which obviously leads to me winning the gunfight. And I'm also thinking about making a video on how to improve your movement overall. That way the game feels a lot smoother and it can just help you win more gunfights. But for now, I really think you guys should practice this simple slide and shoot technique because it helps out in so many ways. The sliding part just throws your enemy off and it makes them miss shots while you're in the middle of reloading or just switching weapons. And it also forces you to use that first step that I told you guys about earlier, which is just allowing your crosshairs to guide you through the movement. And this whole slide and shoot technique is something all good players in Apex Legends use to give them the upper hand in every gunfight depending on the situation. So if you guys really want to take your gameplay to the next level, I definitely, definitely recommend trying this out because I promise it's going to help out so much. The third tip I got for you guys is to change your settings if you notice that you're missing too many shots. There are so many of you that don't take the time to mess with your settings and that's what's probably costing you. If you think your ADS is too low, bump it up so that you can lead your shots better. If you think your sense is too high, which is messing up with your hipfire game, bump it down so that you can be more accurate up close. This is probably the most important tip of them all because, you know, I could sit here and tell you what settings I have specifically, but that doesn't mean it's going to make you a better player and help you hit more shots. We're all different and something that I'm comfortable with is maybe too fast or too slow for you, who knows, and that's why it's up to you to mess with your settings and try and figure out what you're most comfortable with. And you know, they recently added that new firing range to help you with your overall experience. So go take advantage of that and get some practice in if you really want to improve your shot. But I will be bringing out a video on my updated settings because a lot of you have been asking for that. So stay tuned for that as well. The fourth tip is to not panic. I know it's a pretty simple tip, but I bet it's something a lot of you do while in the middle of a gunfight. As soon as you get into a gunfight, you just have to commit and stop getting intimidated once you start shooting someone and notice that they have blue shield, purple shield, gold shield, whatever the case may be. You just gotta stick with it and have faith in your skills. I can't tell you how many times I've killed someone with purple shield while I only had a white shield. It feels so good and super satisfying once you do knock them down because then you can just armor swap right away and jump straight into the next fight. If you die, then it's all good. Just move on to the next game and try again. That's the only way you're going to get better is just learning from your mistakes. But yeah, you know, just stop panicking and start focusing and landing your shots. That way you can win more gunfights 
and at the end of the day it's just all in your head so stop letting it get to you and lastly the fifth tip as you'll see right here in this example all you got to do is just keep pulling down on that right stick as you're shooting if you don't do this then all the other tips that I've provided for you will basically be worthless I just decided to put this last because it's one of the most obvious tips but at the same time one of the most important ones and a lot of people always always forget to just keep pulling down on that right stick through every gunfight which obviously causes them to miss more shots and again it's all in your head all you got to do is just train yourself to be prepared before every gunfight i promise it's super super easy all it takes is a little practice to get that muscle memory going and i mostly use the r3 and r9 so i already know the recoil patterns for those guns which then it makes it 10 times easier for me because all i got to do is just pull down on that right stick and it's basically game over but yeah that's basically it those were my five tips and tricks on how to hit more shots in apex legends hopefully this video helped you guys out because i really did try my best and hopefully you guys did enjoy it as well if you did don't forget to smash that like button and let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section and also if you're new here on my channel feel free to subscribe if you do want to see some more apex legends content thank you so much for watching guys and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace